Here's Hamilton. He'll drop it back to Kalungi. Kalungi coming from that Richmond program, one of the storied clubs in the United States. The Richmond kickers are fantastic. Yeah, they've been. Mentioned the ACC flavor. Right now, the ACC soccer season, of course, Maryland's last in the AC has been absolutely <laughs> crazy as Maryland, with a young team, has looked really good. A lot of players on the Railhawks have been up to see in Duke Wake Forest last night. Galungi. Yeah, the Railhawks are putting some pretty good angles on things right now. Let's see if they can be dangerous here on the set piece. Kenny Walker's got Kalunji as a target. This one will be. Pinged out of bounds, it'll be a corner kick now for the Carolina Railhawks. Yeah, the Railhawks have got some good targets in there now. You got Adler in there as a big guy. You got Kalungi, you got Hamilton. They need to get this ball over that first defender. Deleuze was thinking about a short corner, covered well by Atlanta as they're marking all over the field. There's a white jersey on every orange one with the exception of Shalosky, and now he gets marked up by James. Taking his time here is Kenny Walker. Walker with that right foot driven in. A little bit of danger. Swalski's back across. Goal! Kalunji and how about the Carolina Railhawks? Great goal there. Great goal. Driven corner, and then Shalosky put it back square just the way they teach you. Yeah, that's a great heads-up play by Zach Shalosky. The ball comes in here from Kenny Walker. Great service. Good pace on it. Gets flicked. And Zach Shalosny on the back post, instead of trying to go for goal, heads it back where Kalunji's waiting for it and tucks it into the corner. That's a great team goal. It really is. And how about the header from Kalunji? He did not have a whole lot of space. He went near post on the goalkeeper, Nasco, and he hit it down he just did. the way they teach you. That's right, center midfielders. Yeah, they're spinning a little bit. Kalunji with the only goal, goes off. Yeah, the interchange from the Railhawks has given Atlanta a lot of problems. They haven't, decided, they haven't figured out how to mark up. Offensively and defensively, which is what he does. Does not just rest on those golden boots. Went straight down. Shriver stayed with it. Doing a good job of spreading field here, the Railhawks. Keeping possession. But back to low. Hamilton steps back, steps in, gives it now to Kalunji. Kalunji's got the first one for the Railhawks. To lose with the second, that's where we stand. He's now coming off the bench. Yeah, Millington's a little more defensive um, than Austin to lose. So Looks like Kenny Walker will step up and try to do. Kalungi, great trap. The goals from Henry Kalungi, followed up by Austin Deleuze, who now finds himself on the bench, went down with, looks like, hate to speculate, but an apparent knee injury, and we wish him all the best, the captain of the. A little bit has been taken out of the game, losing Capono low and Austin Deleuze. It's kind of settled down a little bit. Touch by Kalunji there. To replace Capono Lowe and Austin Deleuze, both injured here in the first half. 41st minute, Carolina 2, Atlanta 0. Millington feeling a little bit of pressure. The Cree LED bulb, the biggest thing since the light bulb. Cree, the official sponsor of the Carolina Railhawks. Right side here now. Kalunji will drop it back. Fine a couple times, uh, but other than that, not much to do. The Railhawks defense has done a great job so far. And their offense may have been their best defense, actually. Yeah, they've done really well pressing the ball up the field, winning it in Atlanta's half. And their possession has been excellent, been very sharp. Comes over, plays it back to himself inside the 18, and he's the goalkeeper for the Railhawks. He handles it. Tough ball to Kalungi, a little higher pressure now, and Murray miss hit that one. Cleaned up there by Dalbano. Now Kalungi. Barrera played into space here. Atlanta can change the complexion of this game with a goal. It's Fouls that were memorable here in this one. Kalungi. Kalungi, they seem to make progress. Yeah, it's good soccer by the Railhawks. We're 60 minutes in. Kalungi will switch it over to Hamilton. Been just the same as it's been offensively, and that's hugely important playing in the center midfield there. Jason Gary, 2005 Mac Herman Trophy winner. Same year that Martinez can track back and win it. He, he does. Did. Murray now over to Kalungi.
be a good, good look at Jake tonight. Murray would do anything just to get involved. <laughs> Pointing season for the Scorpions. Tim Hankinson was the top man, let go just after the start of the fall. Jeremy Volo is your goalkeeper. And now Henry Kalungi scored a goal Hawks. Their backup goalkeeper, Tim Murray, who pitched a shutout here last week. Here comes Atlanta. Chin, I've been impressed with so far. He forgot the ball that time. In the midfield, tried to put a ball right through the heart of the defense for San Antonio. But as you mentioned, Vuchko was able to pick it up at the last. We're in the 11th minute. No score. Carolina 0, San Antonio 0. You're watching on WRAL 2 and Carolina Rail back. Atlanta was here last weekend. Chin. Kalungi marking him. This is actually number 20, Sané Toure. to pick up a lot of space. And just to see him down on the field, great playing with these guys. I just want to rehab for a couple of weeks and, and really get back. Lowe's making a run down the left side. Colin Clark gives those wing players all kinds of freedom. Kalungi pass, Vuchko. And now Volo will boot it long. Kalungi tough ball here. Grez comes all the way back to Kalungi. Kalungi. Has Millington on railhawks.com and 99.9 HD. It's would have given up on that one and thought Adler he had the goal, but Volo got back, got his hand to it. I want to see. Folks, Walter Ramirez will come over to take the corner kick. It's one back to Millington. Millington has Gray on the right side. He'll drop it back to Colum. San Antonio up 1 0. Kalungi played Ramirez. Ramirez now with the right foot. Kalungi. Touches it over to Gray, right back to Kalungi. Kalungi now will switch it to Capone Lowe, knew exactly where he would be. In the center circle to Enzo Martinez, just simply puts Enzo on the back of his jersey. Here. Enzo Martinez hoping to spring walk. Finds Kalungi. Kalungi now. And have a reserve seat to all the Railhawks home matches next season. Shalowski. He'll bring it back to Kalungi. Kalungi will find Gray. Anything to do with it, just shut it down. Kalungi drops it. We'll get an opportunity to see him tonight. Kalungi, big right foot looking for Adderley. Drop. They've struggled a little bit. They've struggled on the road, but their, their, their record here at home at Wake Med Soccer Park is stellar. Undefeated, of course, they're facing it tonight against San Antonio, but you know, he just couldn't be more proud. Came a little bit shaky. Boy, when he settled in, though, he was fantastic. Here's another Wake Forest. And they're not giving Carolina the space that they did in the beginning of the first half. You thought maybe they would come. Sponsor of this broadcast. You see the AT&T logo up on the right-hand flag. We are coming to you. Driven in by San Antonio. Kalungi moving for Carolina. You want to let the ball do the work back there. Back to Kalungi. Millington, middle of the field. Kalungi will cross midfield for the Carolina Railhawks. Kalungi now out wide to Shalowski. Back to Kalungi. Kalungi with Toure putting some pressure on him. Kalungi makes a run of 10-15. The Cree LED light bulb. The biggest thing since the light bulb. Hawks, but nothing to show for it. Kalungi, middle of the park. 10 yards from midfield. Hill Martinez, he'll spin around. Now Dalbano will come back and play it back on the other side of midfield to Kalungi. He'll dribble two times and cross it. Toure wins it back. Toure stays with it. And Hamilton will snap it over to Kalungi with Torre putting pressure. He'll find Akira Fitzgerald. And Akira Fitzgerald, calm under pressure, will drop it back to Kalungi. As part of Fan Appreciation Night, the Railhawks authentic jerseys are on sale now at 25% off through tonight and tonight only. Jerseys at carolinarailhawks.com forward slash shop. So get online and shop for Railhawks. They're great work from Paul Hamilton just to get his foot in there. If not, Blake Wagner was running through and he had a good chance on goal. The box is Hamilton. Adderley. Kalungi's in there. Shriver's in there. Shalowski's in there. It's sent in. Kalungi gets ahead on it. It'll put him outside, but Carolina keeps possession. Kalungi's on it. Kalungi looks up. He'll get it out of Shriver. Shriver not on the same page with Adderley. 
Now Kalungi will play it back to Hamilton. In the air for Brian Shriver, 14th in the game for San Antonio. Brian Shriver with the goal on the penalty kick, and the fans love him. Shriver. Open back to Paul Hamilton. Hamilton now will put it to his center back mate, Kalungi. Kalungi, rather. Now, how exciting would that be, John Bouye? Oh, it certainly would, and you know people are waiting for it out there, and I think the most dangerous player here in the fall season has been Thomas Sahorsky. He's lit up the score sheet since... And Carolina's got to be careful, Dean, as much forward movement as they're pressing to not get hit on that counterattack or just a, a lazy ball that goes past the defender. Carey, a great crowd. Caponolo with his left foot. Set back across. Kalungi keeps it alive. It's about this young man, Connor Donovan. He is fantastic. Oh, he sure is. I mean, uh, like like we said, we all know. He yes, yeah, sure is. <laughs> sure is. Sure is. Carolina now. As we walk you up to minute 82, tied at one. The Railhawks unbeaten here at Wake Med Soccer Park in 2013. And with that, absolutely phenomenal this year for Carolina and for the NASL. And they take the ball backwards here with uh, Andrew in ball. And now Zambia beginning to come in this. Uh, I tried to do a pack pass there, and I said, well, that has not happened, so the referee probably blew for something else. Ball and now pushes the ball forward again. Off. Only Chris will try and bring it in. He does stop it back here, frankly. Well, he's uh, been on holiday. You and I are working together with everybody else. Kennedy Mwene is the only person on holiday here. But here comes Zambia again. Emmanuel. Maybe the final third, they don't have that final pass. That's how come they've not troubled uh, Mwene at all. Input Kalaba coming back to help out with defense brilliantly. Players brought down the referee has blown. Yes, he has. And that looked like it was <laughs> cool, calm, and collected from uh, Stopila and Sunzu to Emmanuel Mbola. Forward again is Mayuka now on the re uh, right flank. He stops the ball, but only stops it for his opposite. Now, good turning there by. Uh, what is Simbi got on Nyango on that occasion was uh, steady. He did spill it a little bit, but he was again goes down. He's been hacked yet again, and at the and on the position in which it went out, and Zambia takes it backwards. That's Isaac now, though. Mesa has gone in for Uganda, and uh, it's uh, they come about from the current attack because it did just kind of fall apart when they get to the 18 ball. They almost. Doing a quick one, but uh, dispossessed in the process. Kizito Joffrey just taking over. Now it's Emmanuel. It's on a card already, though. For uh, baller being caught. It's a foul. One rushing striker calculated that. Probably could have just put that on away. Could have been very gentle angle here. We had Mayuka and the 18. Had Mayuka gotten that one. They've had a good game, the Cranes, so far. Getting his first touch, Sinkala brilliant into Chamanga again. And he's got a lot of offers, so it's gone. he will have to prove himself on this occasion. Look at what he did, beating uh, Master Simon and just deciding to shoot from. comes from uh, Uganda, but it's a bit too high. The institution is being made, and it's uh, Chisambalungu. Now he'll bring some excitement into this game. Well, apart from that, was uh, either Chamanga to meet the ball, maybe. Well. Why not down? This Polo Polo, if they take this advantage to Kampala, so it's going to be really, really tough for the Cranes. They know it. Ball down away. Now here comes Mbola. Mbola pushes the ball up front, but nobody is actually there to follow Mbola's ball. Simeon Masabo keep the pressure down. Long ball from Mbola. Henry Kalunji. One of the fans, I don't know exactly what kind of message she wants to pass across. Ball in the mid defensive position here. Very good backtracking there from Tony Maweje. Ball is back in the midfield. Hassan Waswa. Henry Kalunji. And the Moesi go.
Tony Maweja. Henry Kalunji. Long ball away from Kalunji. Chopra Ma ball down again. So then see how far this can go on. Hichani Himondi. Very fine play from Himondi. Very good play there from. Godfrey Walusimbi's second half penalty kick after Geoffrey Massa was brought down in the area restored the Uganda's hope of qualifying for the 2014 World Cup. The Cranes drew one all with Senegal, a result defender Henry Kalunji believes is good for the team. Because it's just a matter of some wins and people dropping points and then we shall be up there. Because I'm sure with the confidence the team has gained and how the team is groomed, how the coach coaches us, you know, there's togetherness in the team. So I think that's the most important thing and it will help us to get results. Today was resting day for the team, who resumed training tomorrow ahead of their 2013 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Congo Brazzaville this Saturday. However, Kalunji used the day off to visit the Uganda Youth Soccer Academy. On top of passing on a few skills to the youngsters, the Richmond Kickers defender also handed over an assortment of soccer equipments aimed at enhancing talent development for the future national team players. I think it's the right way to do things, to start at an early age, train them and make sure they get into the system. Over 100 needed children from the Kampala suburbs are sponsored by the academy. Sam Poza, NTV Sport.